Good morning. Hi, everybody. I'm Linda from Crafty Stampin' and welcome to Copy and Crafts. Had a little last minute craziness. I forgot to copy this key over, which is what says I can go out onto Facebook. And I was hitting the wrong button and it wasn't showing me the key. So I'm like, oh, no way to go out there. So here we are. I figured it out. Welcome to another Friday Copy and Crafts. And <laughs> it's always fun. Live, live, live Facebook. It's always interesting. But thank you everybody for joining me. Today we're going to make a little Halloween card. Uh, we're going to make a, I keep trying to side, a little moonlight kitty cat with the uh, cat punch. And we're using a little background from the um, card builder uh, framelit set that's from uh, the our special from last month, which was the Christmas Carols uh, stamp set and card builder framelit bundle, which is still available and in the holiday catalog. Um, so thank you. I see everybody's coming on. Thank you, everybody. It's good to see you, and thank you for sharing. Just so you know, during my Facebook lives, I like to do a little giveaway, get everybody sharing in the fun. And so, anyone who leaves a comment. Uh, during this live broadcast will be entered into the live giveaway and anyone who is watching later because I want you know I don't want to upset any people who weren't able to make it for the live you also will be entered all the live uh, comments plus if you share this video which I love thank you um, and then say you shared with the D I will enter you into my watch later giveaway which are um, so our live giveaway is going to be the bold, I'll tell you, let me read this here, bold sequin assortment. So that is our live, and we will pick that at the end of this broadcast. And again, you just need to leave a comment. You get one entry. So don't worry, all these people who like to chat with me um, on the live, it's only, you only get one entry, so everyone's fair. So you only have to just pop in to say hi. Um, and then my watch later, which we are going to pick next Friday during my live uh, copying crafts, is in this together. This is a bunch of cute girls um, in various situations, and I just think it's adorable. So this is going to be my live uh, watch later. So, whoopsie, come back here. Here we go. So how is everybody? How is Friday? Finally made it for the live. I'm glad you, some of you guys are you know, new to uh, the lives and... Again, what I like to do is, so this is up here live, and then the wonders of Facebook, it'll automatically remain on Facebook. So you can always come back, check it out if you came in halfway, um, and see it. I also post it on YouTube. It gives me like an hour. It takes me a little while to get everything all neatened up. Um, you will then find it over there. Also, in that same hour, I put together a blog post for you. So it's got a little details of what we did. But I also like to do, let me, let me send you back down here again. Hold on. Um, is I, I do a, uh, a PDF. So you're trying to follow along. Uh, I got a picture. I have all the cuts. And I have all the products. And I have a link back. Oh, and I see my little side camera here. Hold on one minute. Is play, it likes to play this little game of autofocus so that every time that I move a hand, it makes you all dizzy. So let me turn that off. Again, told you last minute. Um, so there, there we go. That's all gone. So this PDF will be available to you in my um, download in my on my blog post back on Crafty Stampin in about an hour. Um, so look forward to that. So let's move these things all out of the way. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick our giveaway from last week. And last week we had the Giftable Greetings uh, Paper Pumpkin Kit, and we played with that. And if you want to see the replay, that is on Facebook, YouTube, and on my blog. But I had an extra box, so we're going to give that away right now. Anyone who left a comment on last week's uh, show on the YouTube, and if they shared it, they got a second entry. So we're going to flip over here right now. This is random.org, and I have taken all the names uh, that were entered into the comments, and I have placed them all into random.org. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit randomize, and whoever names pops it up is going to be the winner. So let's, let me keep going all the way. So maybe you see your name as it went by. 
So one, two, three. Let's see what we get. <gasps> Renee Mace. Congratulations, Renee. Um, so Renee, now let me flip you back here. I noticed the party, the website I used to do my um, giveaways is down right now. But where you usually go, you go to craftystampin.com, you're going to go to specials, then giveaways, and you click fill out this form. They're probably having a little bit of a bug. But you can fill out there if it's back up by the time you watch this. It may be up now. I checked like a half hour ago. If not, Linda at craftystampin.com. Just send me an email with your uh, mailing address and I will get this out to you. So congratulations. So let's make a card. So let me flip you down here. We're going to transition down here. And hi, everybody. I'm glad to see everybody on. All right. So this was a card. So I'm going to show where I got this. So this is, here's my card that we're going to be making in a minute. And I got the idea from a swap I had just done. I think Cami uh, had shown this off too. So I wanted to give credit to the person. And it is, and I'm going to, it's Jackie Dieterker, Dieterker. So it is her idea that I'm using, and I, I added my, a few of my own little um, embellishments to it. So let's get going. So we're going to start out. Let's see. So I'm using Elegant Eggplant. I'm going to walk over here and get my scoreboard. Oh, and it's already scored. So I did these. These are cards I did with my club, which is a group of women we get to, I have. They come every second Wednesday of the month. I also have an online club if you want to stamp with me. So you can just go to Crafty Stampin'. It says right on the side, Stamp With Me, Stamp Club. Um, and you will get these projects in the mail. Um, but I scored them all for them. So I have everything cut, ready to go for myself. Um, so we are, where's the black? So I'm going to start with, here's the black panel. And again, all the cuts are on that PDF. And I'm going to cut out the star and the moon. So let's grab the good old big shot. Oops. Oh, I'm see I'm lots of love in the cards. Thank you, everybody. All right. So I am using I got the big shot. I got the thin die adapter. Here's my nope. Didn't get clean. My die still got. So here, I don't know if you can see. So there's still little black pieces from club night. So I'm just going to use my, let's see my trash barrel. Oh, close up with the trash barrel. I'm using my little brush and I'm just, um, this is the dye brush and it makes it really easy to clean out the dye. I know that's kind of blurry. Sorry. All right. Hold on. See? So there's a little quick fix. Um, sometimes I get, you know, one hard one that comes out and I use a little pokey tool you know, to poke them out, but the brush works really, really well. So I have cut this to be the exact same width, if not a smidge smaller than this die. And I'm going to find a sticky note. And I like using the sticky notes. I find sometimes my magnetic platform um, doesn't always work. And especially for lives when I'm switching uh, between doing a embossing fold or whatever, it's easier um, to just use the one platform. I'm going to roll this through. Let me see. Make that a little wider for you to see. Okay. So here is, pull this up and we'll show this through behind. So there you get all your little moon and stars. And again, the die is full of little pieces. So I'm going to put it too far away. We're going to use it again. And then again, I'm just going to use the brush. It's your cutting plates. Yes, you're, if, you, if you have perfectly flat cutting plates, the magnetic platform works brilliantly. But I teach classes, and my plates, and never mind, I make tons of cards. My plates just get warped. It's just what it is. So... I just find it's easier. Also, live, I'm not always 100% perfect, and I won't be paying attention, and I will attempt to put the uh, embossing folder um, in with the mag uh, magnetic platform, and then that doesn't work. So sometimes it's easier for me just to do 
one thing. So I'm going to put the die back. So here we go. Let me bring you back up close a little bit. Is that close? No, it's not. Uh, that one is. There we go. All right. So I've cut a piece of crushed curry that is just going to go on the back side. And I'm just going to use... No need to be sorry if you're late. Again, you can always start from the beginning on the replay. I'm happy to have you guys here. I just went right over the stars. I really don't worry about it. I kind of then take my finger or the pokey tool and remove it. I truly find it's easier. It does not show through, um, especially if you can kind of get the tape off. Oop, there we go. Let me see all that. Yeah, I'm just kind of removing the tape, the snail that came through. And I'm just going to place, make sure I'm in frame here. Oops. And I will trim. Okay. So there we go. And I'm just going to trim the sides here to uh, match. There we go. There we go. And that side looks good. All right. So, oh, here's my card base. Did I do that up on dimensionals? I did not. I always have to check. What did I do? Did I do it with snail? Did I do it with dimensionals? Let's just add snail to the back. So this is where I can tend to go rogue on my own card. I'm like, hey, I got an idea. I'm going to do this better or not. All right, so we're just going to center this on our eggplant base. Then I have, this is a little piece from the spooky, I want to make sure I say it right, we got a lot of spookies tonight, today. This is from the Spooky Night DSP. So it's got some polka dots, uh, very vanilla polka dots on the basic black. I'm going to be adding that to a crush curry panel. There we go, and it's a little longer and that's fine. And just trim again with my snips. And I'm going to add that to the base down here with snail. Okay. I have to watch myself, make sure I stay in frame. There we go. And we're going to add that down here. All right. So my kitty cat. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is, I cut these out in advance for my Stamp Club Girls. These are three inch circles of the crushed curry and I cut this out with the largest die in the layered circles, layering circles framelits. Um, I found to do this technique, it was easier for me to cut the circle than the cat, than the cat, the cat, than the circle, if that makes sense. Um, so where's my kitty cat punch? All right, so now I'm gonna take the cat punch. If you, you, if you, the cat punch with the spooky cat uh, stamp set is a bundle, so that saves you 10%. Always looking to save the little extra for our crafting. Let's see, I'm looking for a sticky. Though sometimes when I, um, I pre-cut a circle, it can be hard to um, hold it in the punch and get it where I want, so I'm going to add a post-it note to the corner. Just kind of gives me a handle. So we're going to stick it in, I think. And I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want it. I want to make sure it's kind of even in the middle. That's right. Let me punch out our cat. You can save that for later if you want for another project. And there is my my kitty. And I did bump him up on dimensional so that he had more of a uh, shadow line. So we're going to add our dimensionals to our kitty. Yeah, the sticky note is a huge help. I have more sticky notes of varying sizes in this craft room that I use to help hold down dies and as handles. And I, they, they're, I think, an important tool in the craft room. So I'm going to stick him up. I want him to kind of block out a little bit of the stars up top because um, I'm going to put my greeting down here. So now for my... My greeting, let's see, we're going to take scrap, very vanilla, and 
let's see, we're using, so my colors, again, I'm sticking with black crushed curry and the elegant eggplant is my whole palette. So this, let's see, we're using this greeting, the Wicked Yummy Treat for You, as well as the Trick or Treat. You could easily um, swap out the Halloween, Happy Halloween. Um, so I'm doing this in eggplant. And just cause I'm gonna use my piercing mat as my stamping pad. And I don't need a piece of paper to protect it cause this isn't a big stamp. I'm not over, going over the, the paper. I'm gonna make sure you can see. So I'm gonna stamp. There we go. Put this aside. And now we're gonna do the crushed curry. And I'm doing the trick or treat. And we're gonna stamp that right in the middle. We think, or we hope. Yeah, close enough. All right, this is the but I always tell all my girls you have two sides to a piece of paper. So I'm gonna do that one more time and just see how I the bundle, the moon and stars. So the moon and stars is the carols of Christmas. And I can, it's in the holiday catalog. I gotta stop for a sec. Because I brought it up and I don't, I always feel, I, 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 the questions I always get are afterwards are the ones that I have a quick statement. Oh, you can do this too. And people are like, what'd you say? What'd you, I missed it, I missed it. So it's right here. Whoop. So we're on page, I can't even see it but through the thing, 13 of the holiday catalog. This It's the Carols of Christmas bundle. So it's this stamp set. And then you can see the dies right here. And this is the moon and stars right there. So there you go. So now we're going to watch me repeat my stamping and see if I do better this time. So here we go. One. No, I didn't. See? There you go. Sometimes it's just the right touch. All right, I'm gonna put my head way over. See if I stick my tongue out. Uh, that came from an earlier uh, coughing crass. Someone asked if I stuck my tongue out every time I stamped. It made me nervous whether I did or didn't on live. Um, I don't think I do. Once in a while, I think it's that deep thought. <laughs> like, hmm. Okay, so now I am going to take the everyday label. This is also new from the holiday catalog. And I'm going to punch this out. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to bring back the big shot real quick. It's over here. One more die cut. I'm going to match this with the middle die. All right, let me, there we go. The middle die from the lots of labels. It is not exact and you'll see when we get them together. It's not the exact same shape, but it's very similar. So it does make for a nice, um, matting to the everyday, let me sure I say it right. Ugh. Everyday label punch. I some start, start naming punches, my own, my own names for them. I want to make sure I see them correctly. So there is the everyday label. And let's bring it back. So here are the, and you can see they're not exact, but close enough that they make a real nice, real nice matting together. So, but I'm going to put these together with dimensionals. Here. And And let's line her up. All right, and now we're going to add snail to the back. And there's my kitty. Now we're not done, because I can't be done. Oh, where did I put those? I put away. Ah, hold on. I'm looking for my black jewels. Oh, here they go. I put them in, I, have a, I put all my, uh, pearls and uh, rhinestones in clear cases and I haven't had a chance to make a uh, 
cover for this one yet. So I'm going to use my pokey tool, which is my favorite tool for uh, dealing with the embellishments. And I'm going to just put the smallest one here on both sides of the greeting. And there is my moonlight kitty cat card, kitty punch. So I thought that was cute. It would also make, I think, a good uh, October birthday card. So if you have someone, you're not big on making um, Halloween cards, that's a cute way to do a um, birthday card. You can instead of saying trick or treat, just say happy birthday, attach it to a gift. Perfect. Well, thank you for all the hearts, everybody. That always makes me feel good. Um, so now we've come to that time. We're going to pick our live winner. And where did I put it? Okay. So we are going to pick a winner for our bright sequins assortment. So leave a comment. You got real quick to go leave a comment if you haven't yet. And you just say hi. Um, as I pull this up, because it always logs out. I talk too long. And here is probably the shortest card I've ever done. I'm only 20 minutes. Never. <laughs> I'm never that short of a chatter. Um, here we go. So we're going over here, and I'm going to pick a winner. And you get to enter by commenting, and we're going to have one entry per person. And we're going to pick winner. Whoever shows up on top is our winner. And it is, oh, I hope I don't mess this up, Zena Sherman. So, Zena, congratulations. And, all right, let's see if this is working. So, you're going to go to mm, specials, giveaways. And you're going to hit this fill out giveaway form. It wasn't working earlier. Okay. So, if that doesn't work, it's not a big deal. Just send me an email. Ooh, come on. Oh. There we go. Oh, someday I'm going to be so smooth with these transitions. You'll never know. <laughs> what fun would that be? So just send me, if that's not working when you get on there, Zena, just send me an email, Linda at CraftyStampin.com. I'm sure they're just doing a little site maintenance or something. And I'm thankful that you all joined me today. We'll be back next Wednesday on the, and that is, I look at my calendar behind me, the 20th of September. So thank you. If you guys are hanging out for Tammy White, I just got a little note. She is not going to be on until 1, so you have time to go out, have a little lunch. So thank you all very much. We will see everyone next week. Bye-bye.